Hello there, internet. Look, 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 look. It's my tattoo. And I am wearing my Steven Universe shirt in commemoration of tattoo. So, huzzah! It's Sapphire's gem from Steven Universe, if you weren't aware. Today on the internet, hate of the asexual community. You wouldn't think we have it, but we have it. First off, let's start by saying that some LGBTQ people do not accept us into the LGBTQ community. We said that last week. So that's one of the first things that asexual people go through is uh, not being able to be in the community or feel like they can be in the community. The other side is not feeling like they can fit in with the heteronormative society, which we talked about last week. Asexuality is an invisible identity. People erase it, feels like it doesn't exist, all those things. So that leaves people fighting to be heard and to be seen. A lot of times when asexual people come out, they're told that they're waiting, they're not there yet, that they haven't found the right person, they're just a late bloomer. I wrote a whole poem about that. Give it a look-see. Oh, also my hair is red. So we're just like not understood and not accepted. On the bright side, like a lot of ace people are probably straight passing. I don't know, that's based off of nothing except for my brain. Now there is a fear that is great. It's a great fear. Uh, the biggest thing that I've heard in the ace community is corrective rape. Where people say you just need to be raped in order to like sex, which I think defeats the purpose, honestly. I don't wanna talk a lot about it. That's not a fun subject, but it's a true subject. There has been comments in this universe right here, right here, that have that very mindset. Nope, bye. Bye, Felicia! I'm in a couple of asexual groups on Facebook and I asked people what their experiences were and a lot of them were saying that they weren't believed or that people like pushed them a little bit or called them like, names like prude and stuff like that but also people that had to deal with this idea of corrective rape. I'm like, that's just sick! That's so sick! I have watched enough Law & Order SVU to know that that is not how things work. You don't need to watch that to understand that either, though. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people will ask, well, what do you have to go through as an asexual compared to somebody who's gay or trans or something else? And a lot of it is more on the fluffier side, but there are still a lot of scary bits. I don't want somebody to come up to me and force themselves upon me to correct me. Uh, that would be terrible. Yeah. So this is here to just bring to light some of the awfulness. Blah. Next week we'll talk about something lighter, I promise. Here, I'll do a little dance to make things better. So that's all I got for today. Share positivity, spread positivity. Please, we need more of that in our world today. Be aware of things, be positive about things, and just keep looking in the right direction, I guess. I'm gonna go eat some chips and salsa, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I with my tattoo now. <laughs> Go ahead, throw your rocks at me. <laughs>